What up? I have compressed air in my garage. I'm pretty excited about it. As you can see here, it's still uh, not connected. Um, the pipe, I need to get it off of this wall a little bit so that I got this, this little guy here. Um, you know, and the whole thing actually pulls off the wall because it's not totally connected. But um, this was a single gang. I switched it to a double gang. Uh, one of these wires goes up to my air compressor, which is up here. I'll show you in a second. And I've got one nozzle so far, uh, moisture and blow-off valve, and then a pressure regulator right here. So if you pull this out, I can actually lower it. But it's actually not going to lower because it needs to go out somewhere. So if I let some air out... So that's where it was set to, right? So here's that. Um, I need to put a 90 on here like this way because it goes right down to that. And if there's water in there, that's no bueno. Um, so yeah, uh, and this is a, and this is a um, combination. So automotive and industrial connection right there. If we go upstairs, up my attic ladder, which I also installed to the attic of the garage. Um, there is a small leak at the 90 right there, but um, oh, I can't really see it. There's the outlet for the air compressor, which is just hanging out on a board and a rafter, nailed down, of course. Um, but yeah, there's a rubber, you totally can't see, I need a flashlight. There's a rubber hose right there connecting to the steel pipe. Steel pipe goes over here to a T, so I can continue it further on to viewers left right now. Uh, but then it goes down, there's a leak, you can probably hear it. It goes straight down to the setup. So, pardon my mess, we're still kind of moving in, but I'm pretty excited. So, hopefully I will have well, I got this one between the two garage doors. Hopefully I'll have like three connections. Like I want to put one over. But for now, this one works like this. This one works for mountain bike tires and whatnot. So I got this guy hooked up to it now. Um, but I can also use it for all my nail guns. Oh, and here's how it works. These two are still hooked up. This is an indicator light, so when it's on, if the air compressor is charged but not charging, so I can't actually hear it, this is supposed to turn on. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I'm not the greatest electrician, but that works, so that's pretty sweet. And then these I just verified work as well um, for regular power. So that's that.